on our way to Drive Exotic to go ride some exotic cars because we're so exotic. <laughs> Austin and Baba are already out there. Actually, I think they were out driving his Camaro and now we're gonna go drive the really exotic cars like from out of this country so they actually are exotic. He looks so intense with his helmet on. <laughs> this was a Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, and birthday present to Austin and myself from Baba and Ann. So we got to drive around in some fast cars and it was pretty cool. He drove a Mercedes AMG GTR. Here, I'm ready. If you're ready, go ahead. Looks like it's just us. Good though, timing's feeling good, your eyes are in the right spot. What do you think? <laughs> Mercedes AMG GTI, very nice. <laughs> I wish I could have split up my cars over a couple days so I could have gone back, watched and studied my film, and then gone back to the track to apply the learnings, but it's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow, so I thought I better just get all the cars in. Aren't those pretty cars? R8. R8 B10. The man, let's do it. Straight out the gate. A little more predictable power, but more responsive. So turn in here and then straight down the hill. Brakes, release, rotate in. You're good. Just slow your hands down. Don't rush yeah. yourself. Releasing, looking for that orange. Nice, I like that, the timing of that one. Straighten, keep going. Nice, really nice. And then we'll pit this one through the yellows, just straight on this one. Really nice. And now it, the car too is helping, yeah. you're already comfortable. And you got the momentum now too. Slow up, make your right. But yeah, that felt really nice, especially those late apexes. I was also disappointed that the Ferrari 458 Italia was broken. I subbed out the Audi R8 for that one instead. But that's another reason to come back to try and drive the Ferrari. Hands hanging out with the kids. Mm, Chevy. <laughs> I have no idea. And an Acura NSX. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten those.
but yeah, it's really just wide enough where you can get a straight line over the hill, but it's going to feel awkward most of the time. Over to those yellows, the double yellows. I think I could probably get some faster lap times in with some more practice, so I guess I'll just have to come back someday. <laughs> Was it frustrating having another guy on the yeah. course? You guys having fun? Yeah. Lamborghini. Huracan. I uh, have a new appreciation for motorsport vehicles and driving, and it's cool. A Porsche 911 GT3. And my basic takeaway from this whole thing is that if there was ever a driving challenge on The Amazing Race, we've got it covered. I'm ready if you are. Like a little go-kart compared to some yeah. of the others. Yeah, you don't have to think about much and it just right. rotates and goes. It can handle so much. McLaren! 720S. Ready if you are, let's do it. about to go on a really fast car. I drove a Lamborghini Gallardo. No, it was a Huracan. Just kidding. I drove a Lamborghini Huracan. I'm that cool. like a roadster racer now.
What do you think? Well, it definitely got better throughout the course. <laughs> it was fun. The first lap was, I'm sure, <laughs> at the end of it, I was like, I was like, so did I get better? And he goes, yeah, the first lap had me worried a bit. <laughs> we just got done at Drive Exotic. That's it. <laughs>